Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So today we're doing our filming outside because I have such really nice natural light instead of in my room. But I wanted to bring to you this really pretty tray. So this came out so nice. The mold is let's resin and of course i will um add the video to it of putting it together but it came out really really cute i love it a lot now i'm thinking that i may because i was making this for my niece so i'm thinking that i might go in and put her name across here and then just put another small amount of epoxy in there and of course, you know, you have the option to do so much with this. So a couple things though, that I would like to point out. So I wanted to see how it would look using these double flowers. So the flowers with the, um, the it's these, so you know, they've got like the cushion in between to make them double. I wanted to see how that would do, but then I also took some apart um, to see which was better. So I will tell you, I think that them pulled apart looks so much better and it actually gives you double the amount of pieces when you do that. But the thing is, when you put them doubled like this, you have to really like push them in and make sure that you're getting epoxy through both pieces. And what I notice is that I have a bubble everywhere I have a double sticker. Now, some of them aren't super noticeable. I think this is the most noticeable right here. There's some there, this one has one, this one has one. But then where I have the singles, I don't have any bubbles and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the singles look better. So I know that's going to be personal preference, but I definitely feel like the single ones look better. But if you do want to use the doubles, I would suggest like putting it face down and then pulling epoxy up through the bottom and then putting the next piece and putting the epoxy over it. I think that would help keep some of the bubbles out. I didn't do that, I just laid them down. And then when I moved it over to the flat surface, I, you know, press them in, just press down into them to make sure that epoxy flowed up in there. I don't feel that that was the best solution. So I would definitely, if you like the two layered look, I would definitely lay one down put some epoxy through it and then, you know, then let the second part lay down and put epoxy over. The other thing is, so I put, you know, some flowers on the outside here and whatever you're gonna decorate here. I would also suggest that you do it twofold, like on the inside also, because I don't, I don't really like the fact that now if you're using real flowers, you won't have this problem, but if you're using pictures or whatever, I don't like the fact, sorry, it's still, it's not even been a full 24 hours. So it's still a little flimsy. I'm got to keep it on a nice firm surface. So that's why, you know, you see it moving like that, but I don't really like the fact that through here, you can see the back side of the sticker because you know when you're using it as a tray you're going to see that so i really think that in decorating this i would think about that using you know making sure that you decorate both sides of this going around if you're going to use any sort of decal or something like that and but otherwise like this is a really cute tray it um turned out very nice. 
I think the size is great. So you could, I mean, you could use this in a bathroom. You could use it on a vanity, your makeup station. You could use it in an entryway to put like keys and stuff. And I mean, you can use it, you could use it as a little serving tray, right? But then I was also thinking, um, I will probably make one of these and put some pictures in here and put his name. And I think that I'm gonna make this as a little TV tray for my grandson. You know, if he's sitting in front of the TV eating a little snack, I think that it would be a nice little um, tray for kids. You know, you're watching movies together, just little movie trays, and it's a really good size. Um, it wouldn't be a good like breakfast and bed tray, but it would be, it's a really good like for little kids for like movies and stuff. So yeah, I like it a lot. So my goal with this, I wanted to, you know, show you the tray and how it, how it um, looks. Um, again, I got it on Amazon. It's by Let's Resin. I will add the link into the description for you. And um, yeah, so that's it. Well, listen, and I will attach putting it together. I hope you guys have a blessed, 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 blessed and beautiful day, my friends. And I will see you next time. And hey, listen, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I am working hard to grow this channel. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. So thanks, guys. Bye. All right, so we're going to start with this mold. And this mold is by Let's Resin. I got it from Amazon. And Let's Resin makes some really good molds. And I like tray molds that have these um, hatch marks in the center of them. This helps keep the mold nice and sturdy while it's drying, helps keep it from bending in on itself. So some of the better molds will generally have these hatch marks in them for bigger pieces. Now I have these flowers. I don't know if you saw them. I got them on one of the Dollar Tree hauls, and I'm gonna use them inside this mold. I opened one pack, I have the second one if I need it, and I just took the stickers off the back of them.